Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Here we are playing another shooter. It just came out. It's called Spectre Divide. At first glance, I thought it would be some kind of a Valorant ripoff, but then the more I looked into it, it seemed a bit more interesting. So it seems to be like a 3v3 game where you actually play two different characters with two different loadouts and then you go. And I really like the 3v3. I haven't seen a lot of 3v3 games, so this is pretty interesting to me. I'm going to be checking it out, play a match, play a tutorial and see if this game has any potential. So let's go. Okay, here we are in Spectre Divide. I think we're going to play the tutorial first and just to get hang of the game. And then just play a one match, see how it is. Okay, let's play through the tutorial, see how the game plays. Now, swap to your Spectre and move to the marked location. Okay, so we gotta hit X and we swap instantly. It's pretty cool. I really like this mechanic. Definitely can have some interesting uh, gameplay. Use puck throw and swap to continue to the way. So now you can throw it in into the other side of the wall, which is really cool. Your life is key to getting to hard to reach places. So it does take some time to get the Spectre there. You don't even have to click it when you throw it. It like automatically teleports. So you can actually hear when people run next to you, which is really good. Hip fire is only effective at close range when spraying. So I'm pretty sure you don't like lose accuracy when you run. But we can try that. So we gotta buy a, like a loadout for me. Let's get a. It's like a good load. I don't even know what's like a good loadout. We can get a. Let's get this loadout. Oh, there's like a sound that comes out. That's pretty interesting. Wow, that was really good. You might need to bounce your grenades to hit enemies behind cover. I like that you can see the uh, throwing. Splinter. Boom. So we got the Zeus. Have the Zeus. That's Let's the bomb. Try planting the Zeus in the designated zone on site A. We got the bomb landed, so now, now we gotta go it looks like as defuse it. It's like a middle point on this. We just have to defuse it. Ready on the Zeus. Oh, there is. Okay. I gotta knife this guy. That enemy dropped the Zeus. Ooh. When you do this, your location is revealed to attackers. You'll stop oh. to enemy. So I get, guess the map's gonna have like areas where you can't really go. There's gonna be like a timer, I think. And you're gonna get like shot through the walls if you run through those right, things. Sick. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Like it's, it's not as comp less than I thought it would be but yeah that seems pretty interesting I do really want to see how the actual like dual dual character mechanic works so I'm gonna have to play like a one match to see how it is I also have a bunch of different weapons so I guess we gotta figure that out and we have like crews I think these are like clans maybe as a roster leaderboard and crew legacy so that's Pretty cool. Then we got sponsors. Is oh, these are like the different uh, items you can buy, right? I really like the splinter grenade. That's what you get to use in the tutorial. But we'll see if any of these... This looks like a healing. A swarm of bees. Sounds pretty good. Get a Riker Industries. Throw sword on a spike that pulses three times towards your active body. So you can see the location of the enemies. Maybe this one might be good. So we have to collect some currency. We can actually buy these then. Like, we need unlock level 7. You can change your appearance. You have different outfits, you got different hairstyles, head styling, and customize your Spectre too. They have a store with the skins, which is expected. Oh, I like these guns. I don't know how I feel about the like art style they go with. I'm not a big on it, I think. Not that it really matters to me, but I could see that being like a one thing that someone would hate about the game. To me, I'm all about the gameplay, so I'm not really that. I, I think it looks fine. It does have a kind of unique look to it. But yeah, let's go play one match. See how the game is. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this sponsor because it's a very basic one. Oh, someone already has it. I can't pick it then. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pick the bees. So you got like a full-on buy phase here, which is pretty cool. It's so got the heal, throw grenade. Okay. Well, this is not too bad, I guess. So then we have to learn how to play the map. So we got the A point here. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this character to the A point. And then we're gonna move the other character to the B point. It's gonna be rough without like until you learn the maps, I think. Oh no! Damn it, that was a bit rough. Next barrier. Got him. We got the first round. That was pretty good. I mean, I, I got kind of owned there. And we can 
fire proper guns. But yeah, I think it really comes down to like kind of the map knowledge here. Like, I don't... Not knowing the maps is a bit of a problematic here. I'm not like 100% sure where the enemies are coming from. Pretty sure I'm like behind the, the guy here. Thought I would be. Yep, okay, so we got this loadout. Now we can actually buy all my skills and buy a better armor. Awesome. My character in here, and then we go the other one. I really like the swapping mechanic, like being able to be on a both sides. That's really good. I find that really interesting. Been dropped. I'm gonna heal myself. Oh, there we go. on the field. Ooh, I got four kills already. I heal myself again. Bro, this guy's got wrecked. That was so good. I think I ran someone in like mine or something there. This one's like a balanced loadout. I got this one though. I got like double AR. Oh, damn it. That was my bad. I just got wrecked. Oh no, they're pushing. Boom, headshot. We got him. Man, this is pretty brutal for the first game. What are they saying in the chat? My little pony. What does that mean? Are they try to push on the B now? That would be great. I actually like this kit with the shield and the heal. Then I got some kind of like a smoke grenade. Definitely not bad. So here's like the wall. I can't really go through this. Starting twin men. Oh, I was healing that guy, but too late. Clutch. Bro, that was I should have clutched that. I played that bad. I had the shield there. That was on me. Hey, they got a one round. That's pretty good. Gotta give them that. So we got the machine gun. I kind of like this loadout better. I think the machine gun and the AR. Hey, they got the bomb down. That's that's good. Oh, why the hell it didn't shoot? Damn it. I knew they were in the smoke, but... I didn't check the right. It's my bad. Those bombs on the ground are really good. They slow you down a lot. Opponents won. I'm definitely playing like too aggressive. You're not supposed to play like this. Playing like I'm attacking, but yeah. Play like just wait for them to push. He's down on the field. Damn it. Oh, bro, it was actually there. And now spawn. Damn it. Oh, we attacking now? Attacker start. Okay, this is cool. Gonna get the balance loadout. How do I plant the Zeus? Zeus is down. Is that not the planting spot? I'm confused. I tried to plant it, but couldn't. Here's the planting spot. Not that. Zeus has been planted. Placing hex barrier. Oh, I'm getting shot from the two directions. Damn it. Okay, I got it now. I was trying to plan it on the wrong spot. Got a kill! I always feel like there's someone behind there. Zeus has been planted. Heal my spectre. I'm gonna heal myself. I kinda like the heal to be honest. The last standing. Clutch. Got it. That was a good round. And now we can do a max buy already. Sweet. A seems like a pretty easy point to take. Okay, I got that guy killed. Ah, oh, come on. 
I'm going for the plant. Clean, clean. That was a tactical plant. Zeus has been planted. But I completed the different point. What? Easy win there. Oh, you don't even die to the the bomb. That's nice. Economy surge, base income increased. Okay. So I kind of wanted this loadout now. Okay, this is this is surrendered. That was pretty good. Twenty-one kills, full deaths. Pretty good for my like first first match there. Play three games to be recruited to a crew. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. There we have it, my first match of Spectre Divide. To be honest, it's a pretty interesting concept. It feels kind of familiar, but then you have like the whole new mechanic of uh, swapping character, which is really cool. I do think it adds, it's not your basic like tactical shooter, adds another layer of tactics completely. And the fact that you only need three people to play the matches is such a big like bonus to me. So yeah, definitely could see myself playing this game more, giving it a... I'm not 100% sure about the gunplay yet. I think I feel like I have to play a bit more to get kind of a final verdict on that. On that first match, I was like, it's okay, I think. It's not the best I've played, but it's not the worst either. So we'll see after I play a little bit more if my opinion changes on that. But yeah, Spectre Divide, pretty good if you're into uh, tactical shooters. If not, then it's probably a terrible game for you. But give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.